is going on, my very good best internet friends? My name, of course, is Preston Black, aka Captain Stick Figure. We are here. We are playing more Earthbound. I am so stoked. First, I have to apologize for the uh, unslightly <laughs> uh, background here. Um, some folks may know uh, that I have uh, recently purchased a new PC and uh, it arrived late and I moved my desk to a completely different area and uh, but I, the PC was not ready to use. So I'm still on my laptop here. Um, but because I'm still sort of in transition, I'm still getting set up. It's, it is a little bit of a mess. I promise I'm going to clean it up. But that's okay. That's not what we're doing right now. Right now we're playing Earthbound, one of my all-time favorite games of all time. Uh, and that's great. So what is happening in Earthbound? Well, when we last left off, a meteorite had crash-landed in the small Eagle Land town of Wanette. Uh, and we uh, examined it, and it was kind of weird. It gave off some sketchy vibes, but we can ignore that. Uh, but then a bee came out, and it told us basically that we were the chosen one, that it had come from the future, and that we are the savior uh, to protect the world uh, against uh, from the, the evil entity known as Gygus, which plagues the future. And that, in order to stop... I guess we have to go to the past, or that guy, I guess, must be stopped in the past, I should say. Um, anyway, so we are going on a grand adventure. Uh, right now we're by ourselves, but we do have friends that we're going to meet along the way. Uh, but the first order of business, uh, Stealthy Ninja here for the look. Very good. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, hopefully we will see you in the chat later on this evening. Anyway, so the first order of business is we got to settle things up in our hometown of Wynette, uh before we uh, leave for good. Uh, we have to get permission to leave town from the police who have boarded up the roads because of the meteorite. Uh, but we also have to hit the first uh, My Sanctuary location, which is in town. Very convenient. Uh, it is called Giant Step. And in order to gain access to that, we had to beat up the local gang, the Sharks, which we did. And that's exactly where we finished up <coughs> last time, uh, which is the one. It's got to be the level six one because <laughs> I'm not uh, level 89 already. I can, I can say that much. All right. All right. We're back at home. Before I leave, oops, let me peep my inventory. How the heck do I do that? There it is. Um, these are <clears throat> these are all good things. All right, we are off. All right, so we have to get the key. Oh, thank you, Zaffo. It's one of the first times I have uh, nailed a transition without uh, going to a holding screen or something. I'm really excited about moving to the new PC uh, once it's up and running uh, because I'm looking forward to doing uh, uh, moving my stream to Streamlabs OBS so I can set up some sweet stingers some, uh, get that stinger splash you know what i mean <clears throat> excuse me oh, i am f my throat is full of gunk today um yeah so i think if i remember correctly i have to hit up mayor purple and he's going to give me the key to the traveler shack <clears throat> This is the hotel. No, it's not. It's just... Oh, wait, I, got, I got confused by the music. No, this is the mayor's office. Excuse me, sir. There are lots of snakes and stray dogs around, what it? Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? 
I'm here to protest. All right. It is a really good game. You're 100 on that. <coughs> Accurate. All right. What do you have to say, Mayor? Hey, hey, hey! I'm Mayor B.H. Perkold. So nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punch them out big time, kick their butts, spit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to the touring entertainer's shack? For someone as great as you, giving you the key could help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. <laughs> You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Let's get the key to the shack. <clears throat> Oops. I went back upstairs. I finally got my my uh, DVI cable. It came in the mail today. It was supposed to come yesterday. I wasn't able to find one uh, uh, at a store earlier this week, so we had to order one, and then it came a day late. So next week, PC time. Uh, I want to pay the... Where the heck am I? Down. I want to go down over here. My f One of my favorite spots in the entire game. Um... So next week I'll I'll be playing King's Quest Six. Have you previously played King's Quest Six? I know it doesn't say that. I wish it did. I watched the intro to King's Quest Six after I made my purchase and did my download, and I was I was kind of bummed that uh, there was no lispy voice. All right, this individual is one of my favorites in the entire game. I must be the happiest man in the world. I can practice my trumpet in this scenic spot. I'll send my haunting melody throughout the town. I adore that. That doesn't do anything. Doesn't this house look good? You could buy it for only 75000 Wait. $7,500. I don't know how many works. It has an ocean view, and the suns are, are beautiful. Folks should have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? Uh, yes. You can't afford $7,500. It was a waste of time talking to you. Even if you're poor, come and see how easy it is to own a luxurious second home. Beak Point Real Estate. It occurred to me... Uh, uh, the last week is playing this, and it and it occurred to me that in the beginning of the game you talk to the man that lives up on the uh, hill where the meteor crashes. Liar, exaggerate, and he sort of sets you up to check the billboards because he tells you uh, that he writes billboards. I think uh, that's what he says that he he's a professional billboard writer. And then there's another person in town who says, "Oh, there's been someone going around town checking all the billboards." So they really, really want you to read all the billboards, and it, it never is something important. It's always just uh, comedy. A lot of world building. If one of your friends, oh, I talked to you last time. Hospital. Teaching you the game. This is a really good game. I love it a lot. All right. To the Traveler Shack. Traveler, traveling Entertainer Shack. Excuse me. That mole teaches you about uh, how battles work, specifically about Joe's Lock. Joe's Lock. Good. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Specifically about um, uh, sneaking up on enemies or enemies sneaking up on you. Key to the check. Just give me the check. And the door opens. And now one of you will give me a traveler's charm. Wow, you opened the door, all right. Here's a trinket for good luck. It's a travel charm. And that's got the travel charm. And I'm going to equip that balls. I'm going to equip that right meow. Wait, I did the wrong thing. Bam. That doesn't do anything. 
Let's do something. <laughs> Let's be protecting your body. Protecting from paralysis attacks. Okay, good, good, good. That's, I mean, hey, I, I don't want to be paralyzed. <laughs> All right, here we are in Giant Step. We're on our way to Giant Step. The first dungeon, the first official dungeon. Not to be confused with the the minor event of fighting and beating up the gang members in town. I'm going to fight lots of ants and lots of slugs. Yeah, antoids are challenging because they'll just keep calling for more antoids. But they don't do a lot of damage, but they can gang up on you for sure uh, and cause some trouble. But the good thing about the antoids that uh, keep calling for help is that you can, it's really easy to build up a lot of experience fighting them. Skip sandwich. Uh, I don't really care about a skip sandwich. Skip sandwich doesn't heal you a great deal amount. And it makes you run fast, but that's not, I don't think, super useful to me. Um, I think... I don't even, I think it heals less than a cookie, or at least the same as a cookie, and I don't, I don't like the running fast, so I'm going to skip the skip, I'm, I'm going to skip the skip sandwich. Oh, we got some slugs. A smoosh. Pour some salt on them. Uh, I don't want that mouse to get involved. Attack slugs. Kind of the same idea as the ants. Um, they are less challenging as individuals. Um, they don't call for help, but their gimmick is that they usually appear on the field uh, in large numbers. And so you'll start the battle off with, you know, sometimes five or six of them. All right, Rowdy Mouse. Rowdy Mouse is probably is the toughest uh, minor enemy in this area. Uh, he can crit you. He has a high crit rate. So I'm going to, I mean, I don't really have much of a recourse here. I, I don't, all I can do is go punch for punch. Thankfully, I'm a little bit OP for this. Uh, as you can see, Ness is, uh, only taking one damage, but, uh, Friday Mouse gets a smash attack on you. Um, normally that can deal up to like 30 something hit points of damage. Um, although maybe with my high defense, uh, with my higher level here, I would be protected from that, but 13, that's not bad. If you come here at a, a level that is, uh, sort of more average, yeah, that smash attack can do like 35 of more than half of your hit points total. I may have, I feel like I wasn't super, super overpowered. I do, I did deal, uh, get through Frank pretty easily. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a cookie. I'll just eat this one. Yeah, just a little bit. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Antoids, and the nice thing about the slugs too is it, like I did last time, you can, you can sometimes uh, luck out and corner one of them, and uh, get the automatic victory. And we'll wear down the numbers. It can still be a, a bit of a pain to go through all of them. Uh. I don't want to fight that rowdy mouse for the XP of it. All right. Rowdy mouse, what you got? More smashes. Ah, that's so many smashes. I'm going to eat a hamburger about it, I think. That's my HP. Yeah, I think it's hamburger time. 
I got, oops, no, I don't need you. So it's nice enough when you get a gang of slugs like that, they don't also uh, allow the rowdy mouse to get involved. That might be too much for me. Um, excuse me. Uh, Sappho, are you uh, present and uh, indisposed? Uh, or the next time you are indisposed, I think you're, you might be playing something. Um, I wonder if you might be willing. Oh, if you might be uh, willing to uh, help me test one of my widgets to see if it is working. This motherfucker. The music in this game slaps. Every single track is fire from chimpanzee to chimpanzee. Rowdy Mises. Bite, bite, bite. Two rowdy mice might be a lot if they both start smashing me. All right, what do we have here? Cold remedy. I'll take that. If I catch a cold. I don't think you can catch a cold in here, but catching a cold is such a huge inconvenience. This game has really, as, as annoying as they can be, this game has a lot of really fun and interesting status effects that you can uh, be plagued with. I should think about healing right now, right exactly now. I'm going to use my healing magics. I know it's just I just don't have the I don't have the like the physical space to um, get the SNES involved. It was sort of a, a logistical uh, problem at the time, and now I've committed to the Wii U. So, um, but I did uh, last time I did uh, show the stream the cart so everyone would know that I am um, a real gamer. Um, would you be willing to? Uh, help me test something if you're not too busy. I'm going to do a heal here. What am I doing? Heal. Alright, so what we have here is a butterfly room. So every dungeon or almost every dungeon, I think, maybe with the exception of the last dungeon, has a room in it where <laughs> uh, cool. I just want to see if um, I have some uh, stream elements uh, set up, and I want to see if it works. Would you be willing to unfollow and then refollow me so I can see if we get a little a little event? Um, so you can just uh, exit and enter the these rooms, and there will almost always be a butterfly present. Sometimes it doesn't work, but uh, as in sometimes you enter the room, and there won't be a butterfly, but you can just exit and re-enter the room. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hitting random buttons. So I'm going to do that right now. And there's a butterfly. Um, oh, I was looking at my status. Oh, I'm full up, baby. Let's go. I did. I did do tests, but I, I've had them up a, for a while, and I, they hadn't seemed to be working. But I might not. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the little chime, so I might have to figure that out. So that looks like kind of assy because I don't have a big fancy schmancy graphic. Stop using that. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for going with me on that ride. It's good to know that it uh, works. 
even if the sound didn't come through, which I'm not sure why that would have been. Maybe I just have the volume set up in a weird way. Shimmel's volume. I'll, I'll have to play with that and figure out why the volume's not coming through. It's tough to, it's tough, that's the p hard part because when you run it, when you run the test, you hear the sound from the test. So uh, I don't know if it's coming through or not. Oh, I don't have the, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the, uh, the uh, monitor set up for that. That's why I didn't hear it. Did you hear it? It was louder than everything else on your stream that I bump up audio for your voice in the game rather than turn that, ch that uh, chime down. Turn the monitor so no, I'll know if it happens again. Because I'm, my voice is, it's getting there. I mean, it's, I guess I want to be in the yellow, but if I get loud, it's going to go in the red and I don't want to, I don't want to peek it. But I'll turn that up. You let me know if that sounds good. Notification sound levels were fine. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. That's fair. Well, I've I've almost got my <coughs> excuse me, I've almost got the my microphone max. So, hopefully that won't be too much. <coughs> All right, let's roll. Oh, that was a hamburger. Very quiet compared to other students. Is that right? Okay. <clears throat> well, how about that? Well, one thing I'm going to do, too, is I'm just going direct from these headphones into OBS. So once I have everything else set up, I'm going to go through, um, you know, an, an actual mixing process with my voice so ho hopefully that will work I've got a I got that uh, mixing board that you gave to me and I have a, a preamp as well um, so hopefully that'll uh, get my get my voice uh, at a good place I want to I'm gonna bail on these does it tell you how much these 16 points okay and what about bag of fries <coughs> 24 wow that's much better all right cookie you are wait can for juice what are you what are you up to screw me six it was the same oh, i'm gonna bail on this cookie and i'm gonna take this hamburger i'm gonna fight this ant this ant motherfucker got him Is the, do you feel like the game audio is, uh, I turned it up a bit. I don't want to overpower my own voice. A smooshed. You've been smooshed. All right. Oh, here we go. This is the boss. I got, that is going on. What am I at? I'm a little bit low on health, but not so low that I'm alarmed by it. Here's the thing. Oh, I did get it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was I don't remember I didn't remember getting my uh my special there. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Alright, we got Titanic ant and we got two antoids that are in there also that you, you can't really see they're behind the ant. Um let's do this. Let's start off um, I don't have any defense, so we're just fucking gonna go punch for punch for this with this fool. I'm f actually quite content that uh, you had me, uh, you alerted me to that volume issue because the more Earthbound soundtrack I have in my ears, the better. <clears throat> Let's just hit him with the good shit. We got 30 PP. That means we got three of these. I feel like I've got enough healing. Um, so I'm just going to wallop this dude. with. There's not a lot of variety in this game at first. You, you're, you're fairly limited in some of your uh, actions. Oh, they did. Someone did a magnet on me, and I lost five of my P. Okay, well, 
hopefully that was enough to wear him down. He hasn't even made an attack. He just keeps he just keeps debuffing me. There we go. Bring the fight, homie. That kind of sucks. I wish I had a way to get around what you just did to me. I don't think I can do anything with... Oh, wait, is that free? No, it's not. So I literally am just punching. Nice. That's good stuff. Um, um, uh, he attacks before I do. So... If I... Uh, I don't know if I love leaving that up to chance. So I'm going to uh, give us a, we'll do a little one. We'll do a baby heal, can of fruit juice. Might buy us an extra turn. Hip! Blech. Oh, I, he doesn't go before I do. That's pretty sick. Okay, bag of fries. Shit, he does. Go, go, go. Fuck. Oh. tricked myself. Yes, I'll give it another shot. Oops. Oh, man. What a shame. I don't know why I felt like he made his move after I made mine. That's okay. Take a nap. So it's actually... Um, not the worst thing in the world to game over in Earthbound because it just sends you back to wherever you last saved. Uh, and you lose half your money. I wasn't carrying any money. Um, but you keep all your experience. Uh, so I'm going to save. Again, get that money. So yeah, so it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the worst. Uh, once you get more people in your party, it becomes a little bit more of a pain because then, because you come back with, Ness will come back with full HP, but all your PP will be gone. So you'll have to rest immediately after restarting. Um, but uh, once you have friends, they'll all be still unconscious. So you'll have to... Um, you will have to, uh, get a bunch of money and then go to the hospital and pay for them to be brought back from unconsciousness. Uh, which is, yeah, it's, it's kind of a drain on your bank account. And that's, that's where the punishment comes in, I guess. But it, it is nice that you don't necessarily lose your progress when you game over it's not like you're just going back to your last save um you just restart um you know pick yourself up dust the uh dust the dirt off your shoulder as it were and then uh and then hop back in Ooh, a bomb okay I'll use that. That'll be fun. Uh, you know... What I really should have done is... Picked up a couple extra hamburgers. Let me see what my... What's my healing situation look like? Oh, we're full up. We still got two hamburgers and the bag of fries. Two cookies, which is nothing if something else comes along. Sometimes those uh, rowdy mouse can drop hamburgers. So if that happens, I'll replace those cookies. Um, but the co I mean, the cookies will save me in a pinch. Um... So 
that Ant was dealing like 23 damage. And I just defense downed too, so if he, he I think he always starts with the defense down. Uh, so I just have to keep my HP over 40, let's say. That fool ran away on me? That sucks. When they run away, you don't get their XP. Healing. I don't need that. Healing is for status effects, it, but it doesn't do doesn't help you with debuffs. It, uh, it's just like if you're poisoned or something. Although there's no, no poison in this game. There's, other, there's plenty of other stuff besides poison. No problem. We're getting there. We're doing it. I think I can get to the butterfly room without having to expend any healing. Did I level again? Yes, I did. I just did. So it's 93 and 31. Good. That's, so that brings my worry down a little bit because that will increase my defense for that fight. But I'm still gonna I'm still gonna probably keep it around for you. I'll see what he does. And I'll make sure to heal or over thirty. No, over forty, because he goes first. Shit, shit, shit. What oh I wasn't paying attention. Balls. Oh I'm not normally so bad at this. I'm I genuinely was not paying attention. Boy, oh boy. I hope no one was watching that. Mm. Awkward. Hey, ma'am. Yeah, big ass pimple right here. It hurts. And it's probably more noticeable on camera because I was messing with it. Also, I wear a hat. It work and it rests like right there. That's I often get pimples right on my forehead because I wear my hat at work. Right. That's fine. I mean, the it really helps you not get stuck where uh, and uh, eliminates the need to spend a lot of time grinding because. Every time you try to go through a dungeon and you fail and you game over and you have to restart, you keep your XP, you're grinding just by trying again. So there's really, I mean, as long as you're flush with cash, which you will be as long as you are fighting, uh, you never, you just keep going. Just keep, go keep going all the way. There's never a point where you should really, again, unless you're, broke so keep your pockets empty when you're in a dungeon that's the first rule empty out all your cash put it all in the bank unless you know that you're going to need some money which but you can always go back and get more there's never a point where you're stuck right so you can always go back and get more money and so clean out your pockets go into every dungeon with zero dollars if you can remember that way if you game over you don't lose any of it and then uh just go all the way there's never a point where you should be worried about your health or your resources. Um, every single time, fight to the death. Go as far as you can, fight the boss, and fail over and over and over again because every time you will keep gaining that experience and you'll just keep gaining levels as you go. Every time you try, you'll gain more levels. You don't ever have to turn around and go back and go refill your... Because when you die, you'll go back and then you can refill your stuff at that point heal up, uh, get all your, uh, yeah, rest, get all your HP and PP back, go to the store, re-up your healing items, uh, whatever you need to do. Uh, maybe you couldn't afford better weapons when you were in town, but you just went through an entire dungeon fighting, and you can call your dad, give us a save, and then he puts more money in your bank account, so you're also building up your funds so that you can upgrade your weapons if you need to. There's just never a reason to ever, in a dungeon, 
turn around and go back to recharge. Just fight to the death every time. And pay, but pay attention also, <laughs> because if you don't need to, if you don't need to game over, then you shouldn't, because it is kind of a time suck. But I could get through this dungeon right now. I just wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention to my hit points. So I got cocky. Let's go, baby. Now I'm now I'm strong enough that they'll let them fight together. Done. One hit, son. Oh, there's another one now. Hey, we're all friends here. This is a safe space. Come on. Oh, keep them coming. Yes, yes. More Antoids. Got them. All right, let's... Oof, that was the hotness. All right, let's give a heal. Because why not? I'm going to get to the butterfly room, and then I'll be able to refill everything. So, may as well use it. Let's go. So you do two less damage than other times. Smoosh! Ah. Uh, I'm good. A single Antoid? No, couldn't be. A cookie, no. I'm not interested in that. Yes. Nice. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got the butterfly room. All right, let's get this heal. Oh, I really, really, really want the X button to be my menu, and it's never going to be. Uh, life up, baby. And then get this butterfly. Get this butterfly in here. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, full up. Excellent. Butterfly heals you for 25 PP, if I am not mistaken. Oh, get another level. Hot shit. Does that... Uh, I can't remember if my eight total goes up. Hell yeah, it does. Oh, we over 100 now. Oh, there was two there. They tricked me. Oh, you wasted your life. All right. And we might have another fight in this next room. I don't want your goddamn cookies. There might be a present in the next, I mean, a uh, fight in the next room. Hopefully not. Yes. That's fine. That doesn't count as a fight. It was a fight. There were just two hits. You know what I mean? Two hits. And here we go to the Titanic Ants once more. You finally got here. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm. All right. So I still only have three specials, so we'll just get them out of the way. Sound again, that's not the best. Still sitting pretty at 94 HP. I'm just gonna have a monitor on so I can kind of hear better how my voice sounds. Hey, there it is. Oh, I still hate it. Good news. All right, let's go. Um, special, we got one left, but I think we're good on healing. Uh, Wow, that sucks. All right. He's going to keep just defense downing me. 
What a clown. Get out of here with that. Do I have magnet yet? Fuck yeah. Oops. <laughs> Heck yeah, we did it. Alrighty. Yes, yes, yes. No level, but... Awesome. Great job, everybody. Um, uh, before we move on, I'm going to uh, check for a package once more, and I will be back momentarily. All right. Sorry about that. All right. Let us proceed. This is a lot better, actually, because when I had my... When I was in this before, and I hated having my voice monitor on, it was because I was running through Zoom, so there was a, there was a bit more of a delay. All right, let's do this. Just caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Mrs. Soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. Of course, what's good, uh, what's the good of collecting a memory, I mean, uh, the melody, if you're not going to listen to it? Ness touched the Soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. It keeps going, but it's just the background progression. Yay! First, my sanctuary in the books. Press, he can't play! Continue.